Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video to show y'all of a beautiful uh, friend mail, random act of kindness um, test package that my friend Lisa sent me to uh, test out some of her suckers for her business. And here's her business card, Sucker Punch Confectioner. I'll be sure to link everything I can of hers down below. I know she has a Facebook page, Instagram, and website. I don't know if she has a Facebook group, but if she does, I will be uh, linking that down below for you as well. Um, she did send me some beautiful uh, little extras other than the sucker, which I do really appreciate, Lisa. This Happy Halloween booklet. Well, it's not really a booklet, but it's like a notepad. Little Halloween pencil. We got the little jack lanterns the cats, the bats, trick or treat. These little fangs and then little vampire rings, which I will probably end up putting in a wreath because these things aren't really meant for, uh, my fat fingers but I do think these would look beautiful in a wreath as like a little decorative piece and I never want to like get a whole pack of them I, I just don't want to overcrowd wreaths I'm not great at making them but I think these would look really pretty in a wreath I just never want to get like a full pack of like a hundred so those will be put to very great use and then these beauties some little stickers trick or treat with the bloody cleaver this one is I don't know this just screams Friday the 13th Halloween vibes to me this beautiful little tombstone with the graveyard dirt. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So, she will be uh, dropping two collections. And how it's going to work is each lollipop will individually be $2. And um, she will have two collections as well. So, you can buy the lollipops individually. Except for the exclusive two, which I have both of them to show you. As well as um, with the package with the exclusive lollipops. Those ones will be six suckers and um, a resin keychain, I believe. It's some sort of resin item that um, her sister-in-law, Samara, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, Samara will uh, be making as well. So those will retail for $15 a piece each. They will come with each exclusive sucker. Um, and I'll get more into depth on what the flavors are in just a moment, but um, that will be going on. You can't purchase the exclusive ones separately. Those you will have to buy the set with the keychains for. The sets for six suckers and the resin keychain. I'm going to keep saying keychain because that's the way I believe it is. Will be $15 each. And then um, each individual sucker, if you don't want to buy the collection, will just be $2 a piece. And with that being said, um, shipping, I believe she told me shipping will be $8 until you reach the $30 mark. And which shipping will be free. So if you get both of the collection with with the exclusive lollipops, you'll get free shipping. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the flavors that I received and then I'll go back over the ones that um, are a part of each collection, you know, and I'll break it up by collection. So first off we have Thrills and Chills, which is a cream soda flavored lollipop. Thrills and Chills. And this one is arguably my favorite design uh, sprinkle wise again it's got the old rest in peace tombstones little ghosties and the color just screams cream soda so this one will be cream soda flavored I will also be like attempting my best to uh, edit these videos together what I'm gonna do is go ahead and film this part now just showing you them in all of their beauty and glory and then once I am done I will be doing um, an after taste like after I finish them review it's gonna be in this video, it's just, um, I'm really bad at editing, so I'm hoping I can make it look as seamless as possible. I've been learning, so hopefully it works out. Um, and the exclusive flavor in that collection, oh, well I should probably say, this is the Midnight Spook Show collection flavors. So Thrills and Chills will be a part of the Midnight Spook Show collection. Um, and the exclusive in this uh, collection is Spook Show Go Go, which I'm so excited for this flavor, arguably the most. Here it is, Doo -doo -doo -doo. beautiful Frankenstein shape. It's very hard to like get the detail, like, I don't know. It's just not showing up the greatest on camera, but I assure you, it is very beautiful in person. You can see like the little glitters in it. And this uh, flavor is apple butter churro. Gorgeous little Frankenstein. So both of these will be a part of the Midnight Spook Show collection. And this one, again, is the exclusive, the Spook Show Go Go. So you will have to buy the collection to receive that one. And then we have the Witch's Brew collection. 
Let me go ahead and get these ready. Um, which one do I want to start with? Okay, so I'll start with Cheers Witches. Here we go. So the exclusives, I don't know if she's going to do this with every exclusive, but um, this one won't have like any sprinkles or anything in them. Um, they'll just be the like specific design shape. These ones are the basic designs, but they have, you know, the fun, exciting sprinkles, which I adore. So here we have um, Cheers Witches, which is lime sherbet and ginger ale. It's beautiful, like slight Ghostbusters, slimy green. I love it. All the Halloween colors you could ever want. So that one is lime sherbet ginger ale. Next up we have poison apple. And again, it's got the little skull and bones. This one is doo -doo -doo, apple pie teeny flavor. This one changed a little bit at first, but I'm, I think it personally changed for the better. Um, I think I prefer apple pie teeny over apple cider. I think it's gonna be a little bit more uh, deep in flavor, so. I'm trying to show y'all as best as I can. I do believe all of these come with some form of like food safe glitter in them as well as the sprinkles. I assure you, I just have a really bad phone. Like, I don't know why the camera's not picking up on these as well as it could. You know what? I have a, I have my other phone. Let me see if putting its flashlight on it will help in any way show like the glitter. Kinda, I mean, you can kind of see it a little bit better now. At least I think you can on camera. So there you go, I wanna show you one. That one is Apple Pie Teeny. And last one I have to show y'all is the exclusive for the Witch's Brew Collection. And it's Resting Witch Face, which I can relate to a little bit too much. I've been told I have a retching, retching. Hey, that's a good name for a flavor too. Retching Bitch Face, I guess, or Resting Witch Face. But I do definitely suffer from Resting Bitch Face. Um, it's bad. It's not it's not even funny at this point. But um anyway, resting witch face. I relate to this a little bit too much, but it's a gorgeous little jack-o'-lantern shape. This one you can really see that beautiful, beautiful glitter in it. Here we go. And then I'm gonna try again. It's, I honestly think it's just my camera, but it is definitely a jack-o'-lantern. Beautiful little smile on it. And resting witch face is pumpkin pie horchata flavor. I have to admit, I'm not the biggest pumpkin flavor fan, but I'm hoping the horchata kind of helps elevate it just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and then uh, I'm going to stitch the video together. So you will be seeing my thoughts and opinions now. Okay, so this is going to be the review portion of this video. So as you can see, I took all of the little black ties off of them, and I even finished one of them. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into my reviews of each of them now. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's go ahead and start with uh, Thrills and Chills, their cream soda flavor. Um, honestly, it's not the most flavorful in it. I don't know if it's possible, but this one and then I believe it's Cheers Witches could, uh, they could use like a little fizz to them. Because like, when I thought of soda, I was kind of expecting it to be just like a light general fizz. Um... But, I mean, overall, it's a very, like, it's a good solid vanilla sucker. Um, and I also want to go ahead and point out that the flavor didn't, or the sprinkles on them didn't, like, inhibit the flavor or uh, change that up at all in any way. Um, I will say they do kind of get in the way just a little bit when you're trying to, like, get a good feel of the flavor when you first start out. But uh, by the time you're, like, 20 minutes in, if that... And that's only because like I finished the whole sucker in like 20 minutes, but I was like taking my precious time. I wanted to get as much flavor out of it as I could. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but thrills and chills, I mean, after you get past the first like minute or two and the sprinkles kind of like slowly start to like dissolve with your saliva and everything, which may sound gross or TMI, but I mean, that's what suckers are. Um, and that's how you get the flavor from things. But anyway, um, it's a very solid vanilla sucker. It's just, I, I didn't really get too much of a fizz or anything too sugary sweet. And that's a, probably a good thing. It wasn't too, too sweet because something too sweet vanilla without any kind of fizz to tone it down. I don't know. It's not my favorite, but it also wasn't bad. You know, it was, it's a pretty solid vanilla sucker again. Um, going on to Cheers, which is this one's the one I finished and there was a reason it's just, um, so starting off, it could use more of like a sour lime vibe <clears throat> from the lime sherbet. Um, 
it just came across very sweet like sickeningly sweet almost um and again i didn't really get any ginger ale fizz and i didn't really get any ginger ale until like the very end um of the sucker i don't know why but um i did get the flavor again towards the end so i did pick it up it was just um it took me a while to get there and there wasn't any like fizz or any kind of like essence of fizziness to it <clears throat> pardon me but with that being said again it's a solid flavor if you want a good subtle lime flavor cheers which is, is a very good one this one is a top contender for my favorite and there was literally only one thing that i believe uh slowed it down and that is poison apple so poison apple um is the apple pie teeny flavor the only reason it didn't get scored any higher was just simply due to it almost had too much it almost almost had a red hot cinnamon flavor and i can't do red hot smell or taste it's it's very fakey cinnamon to me um it's just too much but it just saved itself from being almost too much um but with that being said the apple flavor was immaculate it was very intense in your face um very flavorful arguably i think poison apple is probably the most flavorful along with resting witch face in terms of like if i had to rate it out of like scale one to ten like i do with wax poison apple would be the 10 out of 10 that one again that apple flavoring was so soothing it was just oh i love apple flavors i love getting to make apple desserts and the best part about this one was it had that buttery homemade pie crust apple note and there's definitely a difference between a homemade pie crust flavor and then buying one from the store pre-made that tasted like you put the time and effort into rolling out and cutting out a good homemade buttery buttery juicy pie crust poison apple probably would score a little higher if it just wasn't so close to the edge of the red hots but again it it's just again very just cinnamon heavy but um a gorgeous flavor nonetheless next up we have resting witch face now this little pumpkin one the exclusive one so, um, again, this is all coming from someone who doesn't like the taste of pumpkin, which I think you're going to be shocked with this when you, once you hear what I have to say. It kind of gave me like a pumpkin oat milk kind of vibe, rice milk, which is, again, what, you, you know, you want the flavor to be. So it's very you know, dead on for me, at least. Um, I loved it more than I thought I would. But again, it just kind of fell just a teeny, teeny bit short. Um but again if nothing else i think the flavor of it that it does have that pumpkin spice it's not too much of a natural pumpkin puree vibe where it's almost bland tasting pumpkin but you do definitely pick up on the spices i mean overall i would say that this would i know this is going to be a fan favorite for people which and I mean, even coming from me, I think that that would, this one alone, Resting Witch Face, would make the whole collection worth it. And I love the Poison Apple too. So I would definitely recommend the Witch's Brew collection. Um, if for nothing else, those two flavors, I mean, again, I just cannot drive this home enough. Coming from someone who hates pumpkin, and I'm saying it makes it worth it for myself. I know it will be a fan favorite for people, especially this time of year, especially for Halloween. Could you imagine eating this sucker on, you know, Halloween night? I, again, I just think that Resting Witch Face is going to be a fan favorite. And it is well worth buying the exclusive full package collection for $15. Um, I can't recommend it enough, truly. It is, again, coming from a pumpkin hater, it, it really makes me question why I hate pumpkin as much as I do. But, again, that one was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And lastly, we have Spook Show Go Go. This one... Little Frankenstein beauty. This one was very intense and not necessarily in the best way a candied apple. Um, and it had like a buttery, yeasty dessert more than like a churro. Um, I get okay, hmm. it has the greasiness you want in a churro, and it definitely does have that cinnamon sugar like sprinkling that you know you want from a churro again, but it just kind of falls short of being churro 
if that makes sense. Um, the candy apple and the churro go well together. I just think that maybe it, it feels kind of like it's missing an element of a churro. And I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of almost like a fresh baked bread. Almost like you made a fresh baked uh, cinnamon apple uh, in like cinnamon apple bread and you did like a cinnamon sugar crumb topping on it and baked it in the oven. Um, more so than it reminds me of a buttery, greasy churro. But it still does have elements of a churro. It just kind of falls flat in that area specifically. But what I'm trying to say is it still tastes fantastic. It's definitely better than I think a normal churro flavor would have been. And that's why it's my favorite. Um, it just, it speaks to me. <laughs> um, the only thing I would say is maybe next round tone down the apple that was used in this because it is just very hard, sharp, candy apple tone. Like you took a Mac apple, dipped it in that, uh, not really simple syrup, but that candy coating base and you just broke it up and you threw it in some bread which is, it's two very intense flavors. So I think maybe if something else was like mixed with this, maybe like Thrills and Chills or something. <laughs> Look at me talking about blending suckers. Good night. I did, see, I love playing with flavors just as much as I do like playing with wax. So I mean, something like that maybe might be able to bridge the two together a little bit more. But regardless, I think the flavor is amazing in this. It's two very, you know, flavorful notes. So... I mean, I have no complaints overall with this scent. It's just some minor thoughts of improvement. Um, with that being said, I do want to just kind of like go over um, the collections really quickly of like the stuff that I was not sent. So just so you know, here's, uh, you know, the highlighted stuff is, you know, my stuff. So the Midnight Spook Show collection is going to have Spook Show Baby, which is bubblegum and strawberries and cream, Thrills and Chills, the cream soda flavor, Creep It Real, Cherry Vanilla Cola, that sounds just, I don't know. That one, I love cherry vanilla Coke. I love cherry vanilla Coke. Scented things, flavored things. Uh, even like the little lip balms. As a kid, those used to be my favorite. That and the uh, cherry Mountain Dew. The Mountain Dew Code Red ones, those oh, those are the two best ones. That and the Dr. Pepper, but only the plain one. <laughs> anyway, uh, Monsters of Terror is a buttered kettle corn vibe. Uh, Mad Monster Party is green apple and cinnamon candy. I wonder if it's going to be like a, uh, what's it called? Like the, uh, look at me. I'm talking about red hot. Sorry if you get what I'm trying to say. Kind of like those red hot disc candies is what I'm worried about it tasting. But I don't know. Green apple is definitely sour and tart enough that I think maybe it would work. Um, and Spook Show Go Go, which is the exclusive one you would have to buy the whole collection for, which is apple butter churro, which is the last one I was talking about. And then there's the Witches Brew Collection, which is Cheers Witches, Lime Sherbet, Ginger Ale Fizz, Poison Apple, Apple Pie Teeny, gorgeous favorite. Arguably, these are definitely top tier. Uh, let me go and rework my statement. I'm going to say, actually, no. No, I like it in order. This one, from least to greatest, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. There we go. I'm not going to change what I said. Never mind. I, I see I get in my head too much. Book of Spells, which is blackberry sangria flavored. Hocus Pocus, which is pumpkin caramel and Kahlua coffee flavored. That one sounds very interesting. 100% That Witch, which is raspberry rose rosé flavored. And Resting Witch Face, which is pumpkin pie horchata flavored. Right here. So um, those are going to be the two full collections. Remember, if you do buy uh, the collection set, you will get the exclusives. That's the only way you can get the exclusive flavors as well as you'll be receiving a resin item in each of those retailing each of those uh, collections retail for $15 if you buy both of them at the same time you get free shipping on your order um, and then she did go ahead and include some storage tips which I will go ahead and go over and then I'm going to end the video so she did go ahead and say uh, hard canes like lollipops can last up to a year when stored properly and they both suggest which is Lisa when I say they I'm talking about the owners Lisa and Tamara they suggest a cool, dry place to store them. Keep away from moisture and heat. And they put in very strong letters, do not, we do not suggest storing hard candy in the refrigerator, which is good. Because when I heard, you know, a cool, dry place, I was like, well, it's not exactly dry, so I wonder if a fridge would work. She made it very clear that she, they don't recommend doing that. So that's a heads up. Um, and then she did go ahead and include a little warning on the little paper 
Um, all lollipops are advertised to children above the age of three years old with parental or adult supervision. Um, please always remember to use caution for your child when they're eating hard candy or lollipops. And ask good advice, not just with her brand, but with any, you know, type of food. Please just make sure you're watching your kids. Um, and that's it. That's all I have to say. Overall, I'm very impressed. Some of them were definitely misses, but again, there was more hits than there were misses. Um, I had a couple of suggestions and, uh, I'm really looking forward to see where their company goes. Um, shoot, there's so many ideas I have on stuff that her and I were kind of talking about, you know, customs. And she says that she's very open to eventually adding customs. She's not going to be doing it anytime relatively soon from what I hear and what we've been talking about. But, um, the second she does feel ready to do customs, I have some custom ideas planned out that I would love to get done and, uh, bring to y'all to show. But I think that's all I have to say for today's video. Um, Thank you so much, Lisa and Tamara, again, for sending me this lovely package and for giving me a chance to review y'all suckers and um, help get y'all's, you know, name out there and help spread the word of y'all's wonderful company. So, again, I'm going to be sure, <clears throat> pardon me, again, I'm going to be sure to link all of their relative, uh, relevant information, rather, uh, down in the description box below, their Facebook page, Instagram website, and if I can find their Facebook group. I don't know if they have a Facebook group. I don't believe, I think they said that they didn't, but if they ever do add a Facebook group, I will come back to this video and edit it. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic, amazing rest of your day. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.